Greetings, shadows to all the high vibrational beings in the universe. Thanks for everybody tuning in and tuning within. So today we're here to talk about the Dendera Zodiac or the ancient Kemetic or Egyptian calendar. Today marks 6,266 years according to this calendar. We're in the year 2024. So let's dive right into it. The Dendera calendar alone is testimonial to the great level of intellect and science, astrology, and study of the stars, the moon, the sun, the planets, the constellations, as you can see properly represented right here, all 12 constellations that we know of, and even other constellations being represented. And you have 36 goddesses and gods, 360, plus the five extra fe festive days that's um, synonymous to the five first demiages, which is Aset, Asa, Heru, Set, and Neptis. So, yeah. So, what year is it according to the ancient Egyptian calendar? Well, according to this calendar, the Dendera Zodiac, we are now in year 6266. The ancient Egyptians divided the year into 12 months and 5 days according to the solar cycle. What we are now looking at is the most ancient, most profound zodiacal calendar of all times. This calendar dates to over 20,000 years and the evidence that's found, the information that's found within it, it also comes with papyri as well. The information found within it goes even further back than 20,000 years giving you information about the different astronomical ages and epochs like going from one age to the next like from Pisces to Aquarius that we're in right now Aquarian age is the age of revealing age of knowledge age where everything that's mystified is being demystified this you could clearly see all the 12 zodiac signs 12 constellation signs depicted and even extra constellations as well now we all know that we're not in 2024 the world is not 2024 years old right we all know that pope gregory is the one responsible for this gregorian calendar that we use today had it not been for invasions and colonizations our ancient ancestors would be celebrating the year 6266 today and not only is this a calendar and a zodiac, this also has the concept of time down to hours, minutes, and seconds too. So the hour hand, the second hand, the minute hand, just as you see them with their hands touching the circle, with all the constellation signs within that circle, you have 12 people around this ring, right? And everyone has two hands, so 2 times 12 is 24. 12 hour clock and the 24 hour clock all in one you feel me they all roads go lead back to rome they say when you end up in rome you find an egyptian tekanu not obelis which will lead you back to ancient kemet again the coptic calendar also known as the martyrs calendar along with all the other solar calendars were inspired by this calendar the dendera calendar from ancient kemet what we know today are seven days a week would be 10 days a deacon for the ancient kemites and they had three seasons during the year each season was made up of four months right and you had the flood season the harvest season and the planting season so the flood season was known as arket and the growth for planting season was known as peret and you had the harvest season was known as Shemu. So during the flood season known as Aket, from June to September marked the annual Nile flooding, which would bring fertile silt that was used for cultivating and farming. So the growth season called Peret was from October to February, where the ancient Kemites would do their planting and cultivation. And the harvest season was from March to May, called Shemu, was the time where they would harvest and store their crops 
These seasons were pivotal for the survival of the ancient Kemites or ancient Egyptians. And the Dendera calendar or Dendera zodiac made sure that the ancient Egyptians were fully prepared for each one of those seasons. Not only was this a solar calendar, but it also was a lunar calendar because it was determined by the 29 and a half lunar cycles. This is why we find this Dendera calendar at the temple of Hathor. Hathor, a feminine moon deity, Ashe. It's the reason why we say a month. A month, a moon, a month is a Kemetic deity. So we should actually be saying a month, M double O N T H. The ancient Egyptian calendar left an undeniable mark on the whole world. The Greeks and the Romans, profoundly influenced by the ancient Egyptian knowledge, adapted a similar calendar which later evolved in the Julian calendar that was used in Europe for over 1,500 years. The calendar based on a solar year remained influential until the Gregorian calendar replaced it in 1582. Moreover, the ancient Egyptians' expertise in astronomy and their knowledge in celestial influences on human affairs led the foundation for astrology. The Greeks and the Romans embraced Egyptian astrology, leading to its global and worldwide spread. Ashe, so thanks for everybody tuning in and tuning within. If you found any value in this content, in this video, or any other of my videos, please consider subscribing like share comment and gratitude give thanks in advance ashe and just before i head out i i just like to give you guys a little extra little bonus some of the festivals and celebrated dates according to the ancient egyptian calendar so ren pet would be the marking of the new year which is the summer solstice right where you have the heliacal rising of the star Sirius, which is why they chose that to be the new year according to the ancient Egyptian calendar. You also have the beautiful Feast of the Valley. Which this will be celebrated sometime around 21st March, which was dedicated to the god Amun, Amun with the ram's head. And which constellation sign represent the ram? Aries. Right, which is according to the seasonal year. The first month, according to the seasonal year, would be March, where everything springs back forth to life. Spring equinox or vernal equinox. You also had the festival of Hathor from May to June, emphasizing dance, music, and celebration, and peaceful enjoyment, Ashe. You also had the Opet festival, another time where they used to dance, sing, have processions, ceremonies, and spiritual rituals from, uh, from November to January. And you also had the mysteries of Osa or Osiris held around the end of the Egyptian year during the last month. The festival comm commemorated the death for, and the resurrection of Asa, focusing on themes of renewal and rebirth. Ashe, gratitude. 